Sunday, June 17th, 621 a.m. And before I get into what happened, I want to remind you of where I keep my boots. I've been keeping them under there. I remember yesterday they took the shoelace out of the right one and put it up on this chair. I want to also remind you that that is where I sit and that's where my green chair used to be but I took it to the back porch. We took both of them, Jim's and mine. Took it to the back. So now I'll show you what they did. Okay, them taking the shoelace out of my boot yesterday reminded me of a little tiny pair of baby shoes that I have. They're tennis shoes that have laces in them. I put them out a long time ago for them, but they never messed with them. So I thought, I'm going to try it again since, you know, they've been messing with my shoes or boots so much and, and the laces. So I put them on the railing last night, and here's a closer picture of it, of them. And so they were right here, and they're gone. Look what they did with them. This is just too cool and cute. They put them under my chair like I have my boots on the front porch. <laughs> So, they're doing that association thing. That is just wild. That is too... That's amazing. So they know that's my chair for sure still. And that's where shoes go under it with laces especially. <laughs> I love it. Now, this is Sunday, and last Thursday, 14th gym mode, and he had put some wood right here in case we wanted to have a fire. Well, it's like the day or two before he mowed. So when he mowed, he picked the wood up and he threw it all, just threw it, because he was already mowing and he wanted to get it out of the way. It was not stacked neatly like that. Nobody here stacked it neatly like this. So apparently our friends tidied this up and made it real nice and neat. I noticed that it was stacked up real <clears throat> nice and neat like, I don't know if it was the same day he mowed, or the day after, or when, maybe even later than that, but I thought he did it. And then Jim wondered how it got like that. He's telling me yesterday, how did it get like that? And I'm like, I don't know, I thought you did it. We asked his son, and he didn't do it, so that only leaves one alternative, and that's our little friend. See how neat they are? <laughs> they are specialists with wood. So. <laughs> it's 3.15 on Monday, the 18th. And I didn't record this this morning because I'm having a bad day, but Bigfoot's put both my boots on my chair and my lens is fogging up because it's so humid out. So I'm going to make this short. That's what happened. Bye bye. It's Tuesday, June 19th, 6.05 a.m. Came out here to check things and first thing I saw was a gift in my chair. <laughs> this is what I thought would happen when I switched the chairs around. I was hoping it would happen anyway, so right in the middle, a little orange ball. And I gotta say, I 
I don't know, it's just a good gift right now because I've been down, but I mean, I've, it helps. <laughs> oh, I love my big kids. Okay, that's all I'm going to tell them thanks. It's Wednesday, June 20th, and this morning when I came out here uh, to check things, I noticed that there's this little crab apple on my chair. Now, I can't guarantee that it's Bigfoot related because I can't rule out a bird, a squirrel, or a chipmunk. However, I'll show you where that tree is and how it's kind of unlikely in my mind that it made its way to my chair from the backyard so I'll show you where it is okay I'm at the front porch I'll walk around here and show you where that tree is because kind of strange that it made its way all the way around here to my chair specifically my chair that's it right there that's the tree it came from so like I said, I can't rule out a bird or squirrel or chipmunk. But for it to come all the way around here and get on my chair specifically, I think it's a little odd. It's Monday, June 25th. It's 5.05 p.m. And I was out here earlier to check things today. And I was out here at 3 o'clock and I didn't see anything different. But now, there is a, what is that, a socket? Bolt or something? Put right here by the, I put this here. This, they put here. So they must have just ran up and put that up here real quick. So that's pretty cool. I think it's the only thing else that they did. Except... I do see... This sort of Y stick lay in here. And it has that attaching to that but I don't know if that just fell from the tree or what it's possible but since they were up I'm not sure if they put that there I don't see anything else disturbed however this morning this cup I put that in there last night and it was clear over here on the ground so I don't know if they did that or if the wind knocked it out. It's Wednesday, June 27th, 8.42 p.m. Jim and I have been inside together. And there's nobody else here. And there hasn't been. And uh, I just came out to check things. And I checked, you know, earlier. And nothing was different and I walked out and there's two walnuts on my chair and it, that is so sweet they gave me food <laughs> two walnuts right in the middle of my chair and what's interesting to me about that besides the fact that they gave me three walnuts one other time um, is that me and Jim walked up the driveway and we were looking at the walnut trees off to the side and pointing up in there and he was showing me the ones that were, you know, were coming out. And now there they are. 
on my chair. So that is super cool. Okay, we came out to look for any place where they might have entered the yard. And I wanted to look back here at the back because they've come in this corner of the yard, which I'll show you here in a second, but there's the chair. And then this is the back hill. This is that locust grove. But you can see right here, it, it looks like it something has walked there and back in through there and that's where they came before I actually saw footsteps in the grass one day I came back out of the woods there and it came into the yard and then there was something in the backyard that they left so pretty sure that that's all that's probably how they came into the yard. They might be back there looking at us right now. Huh, Jim? <laughs> Don't know if this is going to pick up, but like there and there, it looks like something walked. You know, like step, step. And then go back in there. And it goes right back in there. And they, whoops. And then go right down into the woods. It's a pretty evening. Sunset. It just rained. It's fog. My hydrangeas are beautiful this year. I love it when they look like that. But they're so blue and this one's purple. These ones are blue. That one, wow. Okay, Jim and I have been looking up black, these are black walnuts. <clears throat> the two that they just brought me are two green young walnuts so we were looking them up to see what if there might be any benefits from them and there are a lot of uh, medicinal benefits from black walnuts in their halls so that made me think back to the time that they brought me the three walnuts and I looked that up and it was January 22nd so hold on I'll show you a picture of that okay that is the date so if you remember back in my diary January 22nd they brought this three walnuts and put them in my chair on the front porch now what's really interesting kind of blowing our minds is that from January 11th through I don't know it was it was at least a couple weeks I was so sick with the flu and some other stuff going on I mean I was just so sick and they brought me the three black walnuts yeah the black walnuts now over the past few weeks again I've been really sick and down uh, just feeling so bad I, I'm, I'm even limping because I'm having problems with my knees <clears throat> I think I'm having a flare-up of Lyme disease again I, I get that every once in a while especially when I'm stressed and um, so anyways they bring me two walnuts again and I'm having a lot of health problems right now so, I'm wondering if they know that, and the, are they taking care of me? Are they bringing me medicine? Is that what this is all about? That's kind of uh, significant if it is, and it's kind of blowing my mind. And Jim's too. Because <clears throat> it's 
it's been obvious that I haven't been feeling good. <clears throat> so, very touched if that's what, what's going on here. Also, the last time that they brought them in January, they put them in my green chair. They did the same thing this time, put them in my green chair. Once was on the front porch, this time it was on the back porch. But it's like they made sure it was specifically meant for me. So that even adds to the whole could be medicine for me theory. And one last detail is that these walnuts <clears throat> had to be picked. They wouldn't have fallen because they're green. They're just coming on. And the ones that we saw up in the driveway are how far off the ground would you say, Jim? 12 feet. Yeah, like at least 12 feet. So we have walnut trees down by the fallen down building too, <clears throat> which is where we think they might have got these ones. But they're also up real high and they wouldn't be on the ground yet. So just wanted to add that in too. It's Thursday, June 28th, 105 p.m. And I've been gone since about 10 o'clock this morning. And while I was gone, they brought me a, another one of those orange balls. Put it on the air conditioner on the front porch. So that's different. Same ball, different spot. Got any. So, we put it right here so it wouldn't roll away. Pretty clever. That's cool. Saturday, June 30th, 8.10 a.m. I came out here to check things and I'm talking quietly because my granddaughter's here sleeping still. I came out here to check things and I made a very significant discovery in the little basket in the magnetic bowl. That is my SD card from my sound recorder. Broken. And two and the corners broken off. And they also brought me a little gift, which is a key. Most likely because they're saying they're sorry that they broke it. When they break something on mine, they usually give me a gift say they're sorry along with it and you know how you have to usually push those in before you can get them out you know you push it in then pull it out they probably didn't realize that and broke it getting it out so I don't think there's any hope in recovering what's on it if anybody knows of any way to do that, let me know. <laughs> but at least now I know. The rest of it still hasn't come back either, so anyways, I gotta make this not real long because my granddaughter I don't want her to wake up and me not be in there. Um I'm gonna tell him thanks for the key and for bringing that back. Also, that is sticking up and it's just the bottom of that's connected. The top isn't, so it's sticking. All right, have to go. Let me know if anything else happens. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. That is a new die too. I had three each out here so they've given me two gifts apparently because <laughs> they know that that's serious wow 
I just now caught that. Okay, well. Alright, I'm going to have to go check on my granddaughter and I'll let you know if anything else happens. Wow. I'm back inside now, so uh, since I'm in here I can think about just a little more. The dye that they gave me was put with the three dye that were white, not the yellow ones. And as you can see, it's also turned with the number one up to match. They didn't quite get the uh, five to the back, but they did get the one dot up. So that is pretty amazing. And the fact that they gave me two gifts to make up for the broken SD card, somehow <laughs> they realized that that's pr uh, pretty uh, like important to me, I guess. So, that's just all pretty amazing. So I just wanted to add that in because it's pretty significant, I think, that they put that with the other ones with the dot up. They didn't put it by the yellow ones and they didn't put it anywhere else. They put it by my die. So, or by, by, by my dice. Okay, that'll be it. This is the two pieces of the SD card on the other side. See that one where it connects? That corner is missing. So, I doubt there's any way I can get anything off of it ever. <laughs> oh well, win some, lose some.